Hi everybody, Jess here from nigeza.co.uk and I'm here um, with another tutorial using the lovely springtime foils and this is a quite a large box. It's just over six, it's six, six and a quarter by four and a quarter by an inch and a quarter tall and this is going to be a memory keeping box. Um, as you can read on there I've put Celebrating Amazing Us. It is my um, me and my partner are going to be celebrating 30 years together oh my god 30 years together and we're going on holiday to Iceland and so um, I thought we'd take this along with us and record some memories whilst we're there and then it's going to be a lovely keepsake to look at um, um, in, in, in years to come okay stay tuned and I'll show you how I made it so we take a piece of this stunning paper that is 12 by eight and three quarters and on the long side we are going to score at one and a quarter all measurements will be on my blog nigeza.co.uk so don't worry about it five and three eighths six and five eighths seven and three quarters And then we flip it over, well flip it around 90 degrees, and we're just going to do two scores at one and a quarter, butt it up, get it right, one and a quarter, and then seven and a half. And that's the that's the scoring done. So fold and burnish on all of those lines. One day I might stick my grid map down. Okay. So whenever I go on holiday, I always take an old um, video case and in it I'll have some washi tape, some journaling cards, um, a little ink spot, um, some some acid-free um, pens that you can use that are safe to use in scrapbooking, and a little acrylic block and a couple of stamps. And I usually take um, a few pages of. Um, photo safe paper and I collect all the tickets and everything and um, and make a scrapbook when I get home um, or years later in reality actually so this is why I thought of doing this right so there's all our fold lines so we're going to cut up each of the straight lines up to the first score line on each of the sides so you want to go if you notice you've got when you score it you get like a little bit of a bump there so you're going to cut straight up one side of it on the side of this and then you're just going to notch in the square so that it takes away that bump and then that makes your box um, lie really nicely so you're only notching in the little squares not the big rectangles because the big red big rectangles are the bits you're going to see and these square bits are the flaps that are going to get stuck okay I don't know why I'm not using my nice big scissors because I picked these up that's why so Oh, and I usually pack my my pencil case often, or at least a pair of scissors, which I have to remember to go into the hold case, because obviously you can't take scissors in your hand luggage. Can you imagine the crafter's response to them suggesting that they throw away their prized scissors? Oh my God, they'd probably I'd probably end up getting arrested. 
Or I just wouldn't go on the flight. I don't care. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe if I was going somewhere amazing, which I am going somewhere amazing. Iceland is going to be amazing. Right. So then we're just going to put um, fast fuse on each of these flaps. So I'm just going to do these bottom two first. So it is very easy box to put together, very quick. Um, and because this Speciality DSP is so thick, then you don't need to, oh, do you know, you know, if it wasn't as thick as this, if it was only DSP, then I'd be making the box in um, our cardstock and then um, matting this um, this paper onto it, but it's actually strong enough so that you don't need to do that. You just make the box out of the paper. Because it's not really paper, is it? It's, it's, I've bought cardstock that's not as thick as this. There we go. And then I'm just going to cut a little thumb hole there before I go any further. And I'm looking. I took things downstairs because I was crafting in front of the telly. There we go. What have I got here? One and three eighths. Yeah, I used me one and three eighths circle punch. So because it's, I'm going to judge it for about the middle, not go too high, over a bit, that'll do. Okay, and then I'm going to put fast fuse on these bits. and then stick it to my grid mat and then I'm going to close my box up put those ends in and then I'm going to make it around the box and that way I know it's going to give you a nice a nice tight fit for the box so there we have it so that's the little box ready to have goodies. I'm going to slightly bend it back because it's going to be open and closed quite a bit. So then, as you, you can get rid of that because that's going to annoy me. Um, so I think you can feel as you close it, you can feel how tight that fit is. Okay, so now we're going to decorate the top and I've already pre-prepared um, my die cuts so that I don't have to stop and start and the die sets that I've decided to use are the Celebration Celebrate You Thinlets. These are the ones that are the second level freebie so it's a £90 um, order uh, gets you this free. You've got Amazing Celebrate you. I'm just using Amazing and Celebrating this one and these I believe are going to carry over um, into the annual catalogue so get them now free before you have to pay for them and then I'm using the large letter framelets um, this has got every letter of the alphabet um, absolutely love this use it for um, eclipse cards um, I've got the numbers as well, absolutely fabulous, and I've used the U and the S because it's for celebrating us. Um, not, it's not a present for my other half. It's it's about us. So I've cut those out um, already um, in silver foil, and they just need sticking on top. So as I say, we are celebrating us and it is amazing us because 30 years is an awful long time to 
spend with someone I think and I think that there is something worth celebrating um, I'm gonna intertwine the oh the U goes before the S Jez yeah spelling you're a teacher you are a teacher there you go so I was going to intertwine those because it's us and we are intertwined and we should celebrate a successful relationship 30 years is amazing okay so I'm going to stick that on I'm going to use um, some Tombow to get that stuck on oh I've just realized I haven't poked out those bits the uh, the bits in the top of the the E's and that twirly bit there didn't come out there we go love these dies they're just beautiful there's some nice fat bits on the words as well to help with the sticking down Tombow's a nice strong glue as well so that's going a bit on top of that get it off so that's going up there this one's not so big I might do the back of the end version on this because this is less room on this one to stick your glue oh still managed to get it over it going to overlap that twirly bit there we are. and then the us whilst it's entwined stick it down I think I've put slightly too much on that and now I've got it on my fingers and they're gonna be all sticky sticky I've got it right on that bit And I'm not putting it on the bottom because I'm going to put some ribbon around the bottom. And I'm going to clean that bit. Get myself a baby wipe. I need to clean my hands as well. Brand new baby wipes. Just going to Clean that bit of it off. There we go, give me hands a rub. I'm going to use a bit of hand sanitizer. I find that's worked quite well on getting the stickiness off your hands when you've been using Tombow. And I really wouldn't be able to tie a ribbon if I didn't do that. There, a bit better. Right, and then I'm going to take a bit of our basic grey 
um, sheer ribbon this is in the three pack that you get in celebration as well so clips of coral bermuda bait and basic grave see me use a lot of this since celebration started i love i love 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 this ribbon um, and so i was going to tie gold round it um, but i've decided to go with the silver of the basic grey helps if you keep that flat okay and then that is just going to oh before i tie it in a bow um i have prepared some stuff to go inside um and I'm, i decided to make them beforehand if you want to see how to make them then i can just let me know and i'll, I'll do that so i've made a vellum ribbon uh, ribbon envelope using the envelope uh, punch board um, to so that I've got um, I can put sort of tickets and things in that um, so that's gonna sort of pop in there and I've made some my own um, uh, sort of memories and more cards um, really so I've used um, the hello um, happy wishes happy wishes and um, petal palette there and, and heat embossed it and then I'll either put pictures on the back there or um, keep it as it is so that's that's going to go on the top that's the happy anniversary one I've used the I love having a best friend like you and then these ones I've left blank and I will make more um, probably once I'm back um, when I know what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do and then I made some six by uh, four by three ones and, and I've used the uh, seasons um, something seasons um, I have written it down and I can't see it written down um, to colourful seasons um, to, to do this one may all your tomorrows be as happy as today um, I'm presuming we're going to have a lovely time in Iceland and um, life is a beautiful thing and then I've got some because I scrapbook a lot I've got some um, sort of scrapbook um, journaling um, stamps and I've used the tabs tags for everything to um, stamp there so that I can put the date and so I like to take these so we can write um, sort of different memories about what we've done that day and then there were some sort of offcuts so I turned them into sort of tags and again I'm gonna uh, put the date and we can write little things on there and then I might decorate the back um, when we when we get back so I like to take a few with us and so I've designed this so that it takes six by four it's slightly bigger than six by four um, sort of all already um, so by the time we come back from holiday the uh, this should be full of um, ticket stubs uh, the odd brochure maybe um, receipts um, and uh, and then uh, when I uh, when I print the photos of usually what I do is I I'll get the, uh, I do actually print off holiday photos ready, then they can either stay in this box then, and this be like a scrapbook box, or um, I will actually um, stick them in a Memories and More album, um, and they're all the perfect size for, for going in that. And then I'll have a lovely memory of our 30th anniversary trip to Iceland one of our bucket lists we will be uh, bathing in natural hot springs we are going to see all the sites Game of Thrones Golden Circle etc and if we see the northern lights that will just top it off and if we don't then it will have been a fabulous holiday I am sure regardless so let me just tip that off. Not sure what I'm going to eat though. Vegan in Iceland. I've heard it's okay, but we shall see. So there we are. So that's my little 30th anniversary memory keeping box all ready to take on holiday and uh, record, our, record our memories and celebrate 30 years together. Okay, hope you like it. All the measurements will be on my blog, nigeza.co.uk. There's a link to it directly in the uh, bar below. Um, and then there's a link also to my shop. 
uh, where you can purchase any of these things. Um, this would be beautiful, I think, as well for um, a wedding present, um, a special birthday. My son's 21 this year, so I'll probably do something um, quite similar. I did for his 18th um, for that. OK, see you again soon. Bye.